What up, everybody? You know what? This is something I've been wanting to talk about for a while. I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. Yes, it's drama, but oh well, who cares? But I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? These individuals accused me of showing my dick back in the day. Yeah, that actually turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Because it helped me open my eyes and see through their nonsense. You know, if they don't like you, they start to have an issue with you, whatever. Instead of trying to hash things out with you like a mature adult. Now, some of them will hash things out and be a mature adult about it. I will, I'll, I will admit that. But then there's others that instead of doing that, they just want to immediately jump to slandering you and making false accusations about you. Like, for real. I'm just saying, according, according to some of these individuals, oh, I'm a, I'm a white supremacist that flashed his dick, you know. Or, oh, here was a pedophile that forced a woman to strip in front of a, his friends. You know, that's another slanderous thing that's going around. Oh, Jordan resorted to death threats. Yeah, that's another slanderous claim that's going around. Oh, Roar, he's the one that put Brian up to show his dick. Yeah, that's another slanderous claim that's going around. Oh, Elwan said an 11 year old girl is hot, even though he never said that. That's another slanderous claim that's going around. That's what I'm saying. These people have an issue with somebody. Instead of trying to work things out, get to know the real tea of the situation and everything, they just immediately jump to slandering and false accusations and everything. And then people wondered why I don't exactly believe them when it comes to the things they say about Arthur. That's why. I have seen so much false accusations, not to mention the only thing I've really ever seen Arthur do in terms of the whole pedophilia thing is defend it. And there's a difference between defending something and taking part in it. Now again, I'm not justifying him defending it. I, I keep saying, I even tell him straight up, I'm like, you shouldn't be defending pedophilia either. Because it does make you look sus whenever you defend that shit. I have flat out told him that. And he understands that. But nonetheless though, just because you defend something doesn't mean you automatically take part in it, you know. Especially in his situation, because he misunderstood the Bible. He misquoted the Bible. Who hasn't done that at one point in time? Like, for real. So, yeah. The Bible can be very confusing. I will admit that. Hell, I learn something new every time I go to Sunday school. Because of how confusing the Bible can be to try to read by yourself at home and everything. So, yeah. But that's all I'm going to say on it. But like I said, you know, you know, they accused me of showing my dick just turned out to be a blessing in disguise because it helped me see through a lot of their bullshit. It helped open my eyes. So, yeah. So, yeah. So instead of me jumping on the bandwagon to hate on this person or that person too because of some of the accusations that's being made against them, it helped me realize that what I need to do is actually talk to the actual person and find out the true tea of the matter instead of just jumping on the bandwagon. So yeah, y'all take care. God bless and peace.